The Chinese are tightening their grip on Tibetan areas outside Tibet proper as dramatic television pictures emerge showing thousands of ethnic Tibetans storming government buildings in Gansu province and tearing down the Chinese flag. There are also reports of huge Chinese troop movements across western China and towards the border with Tibet. It all adds up to a public relations nightmare for the Chinese government trying to put its best face forward ahead of the Beijing Olympics this summer. James Reynolds has the latest for us. Tonight in Gansu, the streets are empty and only one voice is heard. The riots in Tibet have brought serious harm, says the voice on the loudspeaker. Abide by the law. This is why China is worried. On Tuesday, Tibetans stormed a town in southern Gansu as if it was the Middle Ages. These pictures were filmed by a Canadian TV crew. They show the protesters tearing up the Chinese flag and then raising the Tibetan flag. This is what we see this morning when we come into Gansu. A military convoy slowly makes its way along the railway line into Tibet. We head further in along the edge of the Tibetan plateau. Gansu is high up, it's remote and uh, it's half deserted, but this province worries China. So even in the smallest places here, the police go around looking for protesters and outsiders. At dusk, we reach the town of Herzuo. Only one man dares to walk on the main road. We can't film much more than this. The police will throw us out if they find us. China's fighting its enemy and it doesn't want anyone to watch. James Reynolds, BBC News, Gansu. You're watching BBC World News, still ahead on this.